We live in a sedentary society. If you're a student or an office worker, not only do you sit in the car or on the bus or on the couch at home, you also spend most of your workday in front of a computer. I've spent the last six years writing and programming, and throughout that time I've always had trouble maintaining a good sitting posture. By the end of my undergraduate degree, I was suffering from chronic lower back pain and stiffness in my hands, and I bet many of you have experienced something similar. Poor posture in the workplace is a real problem with real consequences for many people, and it's a problem I want to address in my research. Now we all know how to sit ergonomically. We've all seen the diagrams, and many offices now have ergonomic chairs. But still, we slouch or lean back or cross our legs and just in general ignore all the advice we've been given. The problem is, we aren't just sitting in a chair, we're working. When we're completely engaged in our work, our posture suffers. But when we are distracted by pain or by our attempts to prevent pain, we lose our focus on our work. Did you notice that when I started talking about posture, some of you sat up in your chairs? Sometimes just hearing someone talk about posture can be all the reminder you need. The trick is only getting the reminders exactly when you need them. This is where my research comes in. I've altered a typical office chair so that the chair itself can detect your posture. If you spend too long in a bad sitting posture, the chair triggers a reminder that pops up on your computer screen and gives you feedback on how to improve. We already know that our posture detection systems are reasonably accurate. What I want to find out is whether the feedback that the chair gives you is actually effective. In other words, can using this smart chair actually improve your posture? I'm comparing two different kinds of visual feedback, one with specific instructions on how to improve your posture and the other without. I'm looking at the posture of real people in real time to see if this feedback actually helps them improve their posture. By the end of my study, I hope to have some convincing evidence as to whether these smart chairs with visual feedback are really effective. If they are, great, smart chairs for everyone. If they aren't, we can move on to alternative feedback methods like vibration. Either way, we'll be moving towards the ultimate goal, a chair that will help us improve our posture so we can stop worrying about it and get back to work. Thank you.